Hello everyone, my name is David Sularson and I'm a business management student at BYU Hawaii. Today I would like to talk about two specific points of communication, which are going to help us a lot. First, I would like to mention that communication is a transmission of information between two different parties, a sender and a receiver. During these lapse of times, during the communication, there could be interference, such as noise, but also different languages, different accents, and that could influence a lot. First, coherent, we could also understand that as logical or reasonable. And it says words are correctly, correctly arranged so that your ideas are received the way you intended. This is really important, especially for the case on the left. You can see a picture of a lawyer. A lawyer has to correctly communicate her ideas in order for others to understand her points of view. This could save lives. On the right, you can see a really lovable character, Yoda. This fictional character speaks funny and sometimes it's really hard to understand, don't you think? Now I would like to talk about these two diagrams. As you can see, the first one on top, it's very complicated, and sometimes we can think that using fancy words or elaborated comments could contribute to our conversations, communications. But sadly, it's not the case. Sometimes we might need to use this type of communication, elaborated, complicated, but not all the time. If we go to the bottom diagram, you can tell it's really simple, easy. And that's what we are supposed to use most of the time. Now, courteous or communication or respectful communication has four specific points. Courteous communication is friendly, open, and honest. We should always remember our tone, tone to be sincere and also to be polite. There are no hidden insults or passive aggressive tones, which means no sarcasm. You should always remember the other person's point of view and you should be empathetic to others' needs. As you can see, we should always be respectful with different generations. We have generations of silent, baby boomers, Generation X, millennials, and Generation Z. Each generation likes to communicate in a different way. Silent, for example, face-to-face, -face, letters. Baby boomers, face-to-face, -face, fax, and even telephone. Generation X, face-to-face, -face, emails, fax, phone calls. Millennials, phone calls, emails, messages, face-to-face, -face. Generation Z, messages, emails, phone calls. This is really important in order for you to communicate the messages in the correct channels. Thank you.